of the internet and welcome back my friends my name is Matt Smilix and today is our first challenge video I've always wanted to do like 30 day challenges and thanks to fitnesshulahoop.com this is possible they gifted me this lovely hula hoop it's a bit big for the camera but this is it it weighs 1.8 kilograms and it's really big. <laughs> I've always loved hula hooping and I was wondering what it will do to my body and my mental well-being if I do it for 30 days straight or at least try to do it for 30 days straight. Hula hooping has a lot of advantages and the website that gifted me this one has them all listed up. They are in Dutch but I will translate them. So the first one is that you will have a more tight body, especially abdominal area. It helps you lose weight, it improves your core stability, and it uh, makes sure you're more flexible, and it makes the child and yourself happy, and I agree with this. So the website also has a little schedule to help you improve over time. However, they start at one minute a day, which I think is not a lot. So I will try to do this at least 30 minutes a day. I'll, I'm gonna try, because it's really big and it's quite heavy, so it could be that I'll start with less, but one minute, I can do that. <laughs> so thank you again, fitnesshulahoop.com. If you want to buy your own, I will put the link in my description. They have a lot of different kinds, different weights, so I hope you check it out because I'm really happy with this one. And now let the video begin. I just finished my first day of hula hooping. It's exhausting. I understand now why they have a little schedule to build it up because 30 minutes is a lot and it's quite painful. <laughs> now, week 1 recap. It was terrible. Day 1, I was in excruciating pain. And my mom tried it as well and she was fine. So I guess it just depends on your body type. I also watched some other hula hoop challenge videos and there were girls who were in pain and then there were girls who were not so I don't know why but I think it just depends on your body also my hoop weighs almost 2 kilograms so maybe that has something to do with it I don't know but I kept going day 2 I thought it went better until this happened I was bruised pretty badly on both sides of my hips and um I was in a lot of pain. The picture doesn't even do it justice. For reference, I broke my ribs mid-March and the bruises I got from the fall then were 10 times less hard than these ones. They faded after about 2 or 3 days, so that's good. The bruises are slowly fading and I'm not in pain anymore. I was really tired and I could only do 15 minutes for some reason, but rest was fine. Then week 2. Day 9. The weather is kind of bad, so today I'm hula hooping in the garage. pretty good. Hula hooping started to become part of my daily routine. It became like a little habit. Every morning I would eat and then I would go hula hooping and it became really fun. The pain started to... well it was still present but not as bad as in week one. So I was starting to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Even my rest days because I took one rest day every week. 
kind of missed it. It was a lot of fun. I would always listen to K-pop music and just do my own little dances in between. So now, start of week 3 and then week 4. I'm excited. Day 17! It's day 21 already! So I just finished week 3 and there was nothing really out of the ordinary. There were a few days where I wasn't feeling it and 30 minutes seemed like forever. But then there were also days where I was having the best time and 30 minutes just flew by. Which I guess is pretty normal with workouts. So yeah, just see. Regular week. On to week 4. Well, well, well. Week 4. Day... Something. It's cold. You cannot see my goosebumps. So we're back in the garage. Last five days. Last three days. The weather is still raining, so we're back in the garage. And I just finished defending my master thesis. It went quite well, so time to party with some K-pop hits. It's the second to last day of the Hula Hoop Challenge. everyone, today is the very last day of our hula hoop challenge and I'm very excited. The challenge has come to an end. Week 4 was really fun, I never really had a bad day. I enjoyed every minute of it, every single day and as I said before, hula hooping was really something that I started to look forward to. So that's really nice. In general, hula hooping became a big hobby of mine. I would wake up, have breakfast, and then I would immediately get ready to start hula hooping. And it became a habit, something that I looked forward to, something that I really enjoyed. So that's really nice. I would usually do home workouts to stay in shape, but I get really bored quite easily. And those workouts don't work for me because, like I said, I get bored and then I quit or I find them too hard and then I quit, which hula hooping wasn't. I truly enjoyed it, it's very sustainable and especially 30 minutes. In the beginning it was hard and painful, but by the end it was really fun. So now on to the results. These are my before pictures. I feel like I have a good body and I am happy with my size. My waist measured at 66 cm or 26 inches and my hips had 75 centimeters or 29.5 inches. Now, these are my after pictures. My waist now is 61 centimeter or 24 inches and my hips are 71.5 centimeters or 28 inches. When I put them next to each other, it's really clear that my waist got thinner and my muscles started showing, which is something I really like. I am absolutely amazed by these results. Especially because I didn't change anything except the hula hooping. I didn't change my diet, I would still have pasta, which I really love. I would still eat chips and ice cream and just everything that I like. So to get these results that fast is absolutely shocking. And as I said before, it was lots of fun to do. I truly had a good time. Hi, it's editor Verle here. I forgot to mention something that I found was really important. It's that hula hooping is for everyone. Even on days when I wasn't feeling it or I felt kind of bored or I just wasn't hyped, I would find something to distract myself. Like I would hula hoop while watching a TV show or YouTube or TikToks or solve a Rubik's Cube. 
it doesn't matter you can basically do anything while you hula hoop so that's one of the fun parts of it so if you also want to try this challenge or just start hula hooping in general you can get yours at fitnesshulahoop.com I hope you will try it sometime because as I said a million times now it's lots of fun so by this we can end the challenge end the video and I will thank you all for watching have a very nice day Bye-bye!